Well, this is Sasha Wharf on Cape York. We'll say goodbye to the Piccadillys. See you next week. The Daily Double. How long are you going to find that? Well, we're on our way. We've got the Daily Double on board. Big Ben and Daniel. We're going to troll some lures down the coast. Have a look at these beauties. Russell lures. Most horrible looking thing you've ever seen. But boy, do they catch fish. Lovely Spanish mackerel. Let's see if Ben's got what it takes to catch it. Don't dive, don't jive at it. He's nearly ready. Three minutes later and the second bait's gone off on the back of the boat and Daniel's onto something. It's quite a good fish. We don't know what it is. It was on the bait that was on the bottom so it might be a different fish to a mackerel. Certainly a good impressive fighter. Bye. Look at that style. It's a shovel nosed shark. Took Dan about 35 or 40 minutes to land. He did a great job. Uh, here they go again. Another one on. Looks like a mackerel.
a little queeny. Come about five miles to the north, we're in the mouth of Crystal Creek. Let this That's been second Barramundi, we're casting little plugs at the snags. Catching a few. You're getting really good, don't you? Grove Jack. Not the biggest jack of the day, but not too bad. And on the back end. Slow down. Good solid hit. We're travelling from river number two down to the Cottrell on Sunday morning. I think that's a Russell lure. Blistering run. Done there. Thank you very much. Not quite as big as the other day, but <laughs> nice bit of eating. Look at me. Good fish. Good fish. It was the Russell lure. Nice Spanish mackerel for our tea. He only held on by that little bit. It's only held on by a tiny bit of skin. It was very well played, Ben. Thank you. Trial again, we'll see if we can get another one. We've got this little honey hole out here on a piece of rubble I put a boy on yesterday afternoon. We've got three finger marks so far. This looks like a pretty good one. Maybe it's not a finger mark. It's a Spanish mackerel. Nice Spanish mackerel. Well, a slight change of tack. We've just anchored beside those boys we were trolling around and we're bottom fishing, catching a few nice fish. And there's a little technique where you drift a, a West Australian pilchard out under a little float. We've had one good fish on, broke the line, bends onto the second one. Let's see what this is. team over there, the second best fisherman on the water today. Trevally. And there's another one following it. Lovely Trevally. <laughs> Smile. Here we go. 
cowboy. Good queen fish on the Russell lure. A lot of variety today. Another queen fish. Beautiful one on the Russell Lure. Calm down, boy. Let him go with the rest of it. has turned to SH1T. We've lost all our expensive lures, been through a dozen pilchards, lost all our pilchard rigs in the end, and we haven't seen too many good fish on the boat, but we've had a lot of fun this morning. We've just come up, trolling our way back into the boat. There's a big pot of dolphins here feeding on something, and there's obviously something else here feeding with them as well. No sooner had we arrived where the dolphins were, but we got a double hookup. We've been on for 15 minutes already. Might take a bit longer yet. Well, ben, Ben's still hard at it. I've got mine in. Filthy big GT. Russell Lure. Oh. See if we can get Ben's in, we'll get a two shot. Two big trevallies. One of them's dying. Oh, 
Guaranteed to put a smile on anyone's face. Very likely. Ah, beautiful tarpon. Great fight. Whee! For a small fish. <laughs> Lovely tarpon. I'll let that one go. Whee! First barramundi of the afternoon. Nice little barrow. Well, it's half past five on Monday afternoon. Bit of an afternoon ritual, feeding the pets. Hey, big boy. Why weren't you here before when we had plenty of food? Yeah. 